Over the last years, I have seen YouTube flooded with people arguing if these spark plug non-fowlers work. So in this video today, I'm going to go ahead and discuss this. And you guys can find out for yourself if these spark plug non-fowlers work and why. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Random Fix. So over the last few years, I have seen many people make videos about this. Some claim that these spark plug non-fowlers work. Others claim that they don't work. I'm going to actually show you guys which ones actually work because it's about what you get and how you install it and in what situation you should install it in. So we have a catalytic converter here from a vehicle. And so to help you guys understand this, most cars have two oxygen sensors. There's one before the catalyst. This is known as the pre-cat or upstream oxygen sensor. And then there's one past the catalytic converter. And this one is known as the downstream oxygen sensor. And this oxygen sensor is the one that determines if the catalyst is actually working. So these spark plug non fowlers have been around for decades. And what they were originally used for was to keep the oil off the spark plugs. And that's why they call them non fowlers or defowlers. Basically the spark plug would go in here and the oil would not get on the spark plug. So I have a two different styles here and I see a lot of people using the wrong style and claiming that it doesn't work. So this is the dormant style right here. And this is the one that you actually have to drill out with a half inch drill bit. And then you can go and put this in here and the head would fit in. And the way this actually works is because it takes the oxygen sensor out of direct contact with the exhaust stream, or the gas feed that's going by here. So it gets an altered reading. The computer will then think that the catalytic converter is doing its job. But this is not what I actually recommend in case you are having an issue with the catalyst efficiency code. What you want to do is get one of these non-fowlers that come in this 90 over here. And this is really the secret. So when you put this one in here, first of all, you don't have to drill anything out. And these are under $20. And you can still buy both styles. And I'll leave you guys a link to this in the video description box down below. Some of the better versions come with a mini catalyst. This drops in here. And then this would plug right into here. That easy. This 90 is gonna do a much better job than this dormant style spark plug non fowler because it does a better job of keeping the oxygen sensor completely out of the exhaust gas feed. However, just know that when you have one of these on your vehicle, you're not gonna pass a visual inspection. So in most states, when they do have a emissions test, they also have a visual inspection. So I do have a little workaround for that in case you are dealing with that but these spark plug non-fowlers do work. Let me quickly show you guys the exhaust system of a vehicle so you guys can get a better idea on how to quickly find the downstream oxygen sensor. And again, I'll leave you guys link to anything that I talk about in this video in the description box down below, including a link to the oxygen sensor removal tool. And make sure whenever you are doing this for the very first time that you spray the area here with penetrating oil a few times before you try this as you don't want to damage anything so now we're looking at a v6 engine and this has a catalytic converter on the back side and also on the front side so it's much easier for me to show you guys the one on the front here that one's going to be the upstream oxygen sensor right here and that is going to be the top of the catalyst if we follow that down and to the right there's another wire that protrudes out that right there is going to be the downstream oxygen sensor so it's very easily accessible from underneath the vehicle. And the same is true for the one on the back side of the motor. If you lift the car up, you can actually access it right from the driver's side area here underneath. Now let me show you guys the oxygen sensor on this Toyota Prius C. And this is gonna be one oxygen sensor right here where my hand is touching. That's the first one, that's the upstream oxygen sensor. That is now where you connect the spark plug non-fowler. You wanna go and connect to the downstream oxygen sensor, which is located right there. That is gonna be the downstream oxygen sensor, and that's where the spark plug non-fowler will connect to on this Prius. 